Hi everyone, um, my name is Jamie from Kids for the Bay and I worked at summer camp last year and I loved summer camp because I love doing science experiment and getting my hands dirty. And today I'm going to be reading you a book all about the Triceratops. And uh, this kind of connects to summer camp a little bit because on a couple of our field trip sites we usually get to see a couple um, dinosaur skeletons and learn a little bit about those. So we are going to learn a little bit about the Triceratops today. This book is called There's a Triceratops in the Treehouse by Alexi Bitskoff and Ruth Simons. All right. Triceratops was a big plant-eating dinosaur with three massive horns on his head. He lived around 70 million years ago, many millions of years before the first humans appeared. But just imagine if Triceratops was alive today, how would he cope with modern life? What if Triceratops joined a football team? He had sturdy legs for racing up and down the pitch, but he might pop the ball with his sharp, sharp horns. With his meter long horn, the size of a hockey stick, Triceratops would be great at ice hockey. What if Triceratops were, went to the dentist? It would take the dentist all day to check his teeth. Triceratops could have up to 800 teeth in its mouth. What if Triceratops caught, Triceratops caught the train? At nine meters long, Triceratops was almost the size of a train carriage. He wouldn't fit in with the other passengers, but he could travel in the goods wagon. What if Triceratops went on holiday? With his sharp parrot-like beak, Triceratops could easily crack open coconuts. They would make a tasty drink for everyone on the beach. But Triceratops would rather munch on palm leaves. His sharp teeth were perfect for slicing them up. Was Triceratops taller than my dad? Triceratops was much taller than any human. His skull alone was taller than your dad. It was 2.5 meters long. Baby Triceratops was much smaller than its parents. Its head was only just bigger than yours. What if Triceratops went on a school trip? He would have great fun, especially at a castle. He could pretend to fight like a knight. Triceratops wouldn't need armor as his thick skin was good protection. He wouldn't need a lance because he had two long horns on his head and he was bigger than any horse. What if Triceratops took a ride in a hot air balloon? It would have to be a very big balloon. Triceratops weighed 4.5 tons. That's as much as 200 children. What if Triceratops got too hot? Animals keep cool in different ways. Humans sweat and dogs pant, but Triceratops would use his head, use his head frill to cool down. Blood flowing to the frill carried heat away from his body. He just had to find some shade or a nice cool breeze. What if Triceratops came to my tree house? He'd be too big and heavy to get in the tree. 
and his thick legs and chunky feet would make it hard to climb the ladder. But he'd help you all get down. Triceratops' skeleton. Everything we know about Triceratops comes from fossils, skeletons that have been in the ground for thousands and thousands of years. This means we know lots about dinosaurs, even though no one has ever seen one. Scientists can look at fossils to work out how dinosaurs lived in the past. We have a, a big heavy tail, thick sturdy legs, a bulky body, the large head frill, two long horns, one short horn, and a sharp beak. I think they might even, even have um, part of a Triceratops' skeleton at the Lawrence Hall of Science in Berkeley. Oh, and this is a, a funny um, Triceratops' passport. And it shows you how to pronounce it. Triceratops. The name means three-horned face. Its weight is 4.5 tons. Its length is 9 meters. Its height is 3 meters. Its habitat is scrubland, bush, and prairies. And its diet is ferns, palm leaves, and other plants. The end. There's the back. All right, thank you so much for joining me today for reading this book. And I really hope to see some of you next year at summer camp for our 20th anniversary of summer camp. All right, have a great day. Bye.